Alright, well, hello there, and welcome to Prison Architect. I'm your host, PPG Chu, and after a bit of a break from Let's Play, I am back. And, well, today we're starting off a fresh series, and we're playing a game that some of you guys may be familiar with here. So, Prison Architect, as the name implies, it's a game about managing prisons. Um, for the longest time, this game was actually in early access, but as it says over here, 13th of November, Update 1 is released. Um, actually, that is not version 1.0, but anyhow... Uh, the game is uh, fully out now, it is fully complete, and with that said, I mean, it's a game that I wanted to cover, but I wasn't able to within the last little bit here because I was unfortunately quite busy with things. So, anyhow, I've started a new sandbox prison over here to play as, uh, or play on, rather, and I wanted to show you guys the customization screen before we jumped into it. I actually have it uh, preloaded in the background here, just just to save some time, really. So yeah, uh, the game's about running prisons, and in your prisons you'll have random events, you'll uh, try to dictate you know, what your prisoners do, and with it there will be gangs, there will be prison riots, and all kinds of sort of fun slash grim things that'll happen. So you can build prisons that are, that are small, medium, and large in terms of map scale, but you can also build um, where I believe expand these as well. Um, you can choose your warden from a lovely cast of different wardens with different abilities. For example, we have the lobbyist, which reduces the chance of having extremely volatile prisoners. We have uh, Rita over here, which uh, apparently dishes out punishment like no wonder, making your prisoners you know a little bit easier to contain, a little bit easier to contain. Some guy for uh, you know uncovering dog or uh, tunnels, es escape tunnels and things like that, and just overall fun characters. Like like that and i suppose i'll tab through the, the the two other ones for you guys to check out right there so uh what i've done here is i've run the game with fog of war on so we won't have you know full omniscient knowledge as to what the heck our prisoners are doing we actually had to get guards to go over there and see them um i think i've generated some forests i don't believe i generated any lakes because there's no way to actually get rid of them generated some old buildings and i've removed failure conditions but i've added gangs and multiple events just to have a fun environment to play in so with that set up we are starting on over here day number one 30 grand in the bank with a truck load of workers right over here and following another truck load of uh building materials to start our new fangled prison so, uh, what should we do? What should we do first is kind of a good question. The, the, the answer to that is, every day, yeah, you'll be able to take in such and such an amount of prisoners. And with that, eventually we'll be able to see a lot more information here as we get more people. As you can probably tell, we need uh, different officers or different... Um, just in general people to see those messages clearly but uh yeah we 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 can pretty much start to build a prison right now uh so firstly i'm going to tab over here to grants we can accept uh, if you will pseudo missions for the sake of grabbing more money and just in general they they give kind of direction as to how you build your your prison so let's go with a detention center and an administration center to start off with that'll bump up our cash amount that 55 grand mark which should be more than enough to start building things off here so Usually, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a really big fan of templating my buildings off of what they have over here. So, I'll try to do that to some extent, at least over here. Um, so, let's grab... Let's grab something like this setup. This looks like the foundations of whatever was here. So, I think we'll buy all of these for now. Uh, we'll let our worker dudes come over here, the staff, the construction guys, do their thing for now. And it's quite neat. These guys will actually unload the little stacks of things on trucks. It's like um, it's like Door Fortress, but only in 2D. Unfortunately, yeah, can't build 3D prisons, so everything is on uh, on one level. You just you just have to make your guys run really far there. So I think we'll increase the speed here. What these guys will do is that they'll grab up the stacks of bricks, the stacks of whatever, really, deliver them over here, and they should start building in due time. So yeah, very, very nifty. Anyhow, what we need to do here now is to build the foundations of a building, assign some rooms, put some objects inside those uh, said buildings, and really go from there. So to me, this is kind of uh, the natural opening for our prison. So I think I'll put a door there. And now 
um, kind of going to this let's play and all. I think this will be more of a more of a casual prison. I mean, we're not really. <laughs> We're not. I just realized how odd that sounds, but we're not really going for the most efficient build per se because, you know, that's just a little boring in my opinion. Uh, that said, I want this place to be kind of like, you know, nice and organic. Organically grown. Organically broke, built, I guess. So, um, what do we need for a prison? We need a, an administration block, which we can kind of recycle off of this building right over here. In the main area over here, we can have the main prison amenities, and later on we'll be able to expand the map, so don't worry if this looks like it is not that much space, be rest assured, we can uh, we can increase our area by quite a bit. I'm actually not quite sure as to what, lo uh, what the full extent is, but I know for a fact we can go uh, a map's width in each direction uh, for the time being. And anyhow, right now I just want to make maybe like a giant holding cell. Um, how it works is that your prisoners typically go to a holding cell if they don't have their own cell, so it's a giant bunk bed of prisoners. So it's, it's a cheap but crude way to store them. We need a shower, we need a yard, we need a kitchen, a canteen, and some staff. So, we'll try to get all of that uh, up and running here within the, uh, within the day, really. So there we go, we have our first room done. Second room is done, third room is done. And depending on how you build these, some of them come with walls, some of them just kind of pop up like that. Either way, we have now a fully functioning room, or set of rooms. And from here we can start building walls and the such to uh, really kind of start our prison off here. Right, so I've played this game a little bit, and a couple of things I want to do right off the bat. You want to have a big area for showers because uh, your prisoners get awfully mad whenever whenever that uh, that kind of goes away. Uh, we want probably some sort of receptionist area, not for the sake of really serving as one, but more so because it's very useful to uh, search your prisoners at the start of the game before they you actually send them off into your prison. That way. Um, your prisoners, uh, or rather, I should say, I mean, objects work both ways. Your prisoners can carry around little snacks and little shivs and things like that. Uh, obviously, you want to keep you, you you want them to keep the snacks and take away the shivs. So we are trying to do exactly just that. And here's what we're gonna do. Hmm, this is the new thing, actually, dormitories. I have not seen that before, so I'm guessing they added it recently. But we want a reception room. So this is where prisoners are first taken. This is where they're kind of, you know, given their bright orange little uh, jumping or jumpsuits and stuff like that. And that's kind of where they're sent off. So we'll get that set up. Now we're going to have a holding room. And I think I think we'll make that actually the big room up here. I was uh, considering putting it here. But, you know, now that we have dormitories, I'm changing my mind. So, just to give you guys a general idea of what I want to do here for our prison, um, here's what I want to do. So, I figured administration will be like up here. We'll have kind of one giant prison area, I wouldn't say yard, be, uh, there. And we might have some area back here for this time being, and in the middle here, I don't know, we might have some infrastructure buildings or some support buildings like that. So, um, now that we have the basics of a room set up, let's get bar and the amenities going on uh, over here. So, what we need for that is a power generator. And I think we'll put those, you know, reasonably far away so that... You, actually, you know, come to think of it, I've never seen prisoners sabotage these, but I'm willing to bet that it is something that can happen. So I'm going to put that, you know, kind of off to the side there. Hopefully no prisoners will deliberately tunnel into that, but we'll put that over, right over here. We'll get that set up so that we can power up these two rooms. And afterwards, we will see what we can build here. So... Yeah, this should this should get a, a portion of the things done. I want to have the yard somewhere back over here. So we'll see what we can do about that soon after. And I truly do want to build my, my prison starting off from the middle area here. Some people like to do it from the front, near the road here. But, you know, I, I really don't think that's a good idea for the long run. It is It does make faster construction, however, for the, uh, for the time being. And right, once we get the power generator and all that set up, we will want to funnel power to everywhere 
else inside the prison, so we'll get the, uh, the cabling and stuff done right there. Uh, come to think of it, we'll hire the two guards, we'll hire the two cooks, and we'll hire four more of the construction guys. And these are, you know, they're kind of passive guys. They just immediately show up and they'll do their thing. So while they do that, we are going to designate a really, really big canteen. So this is where kind of the prisoners get their food and stuff, obviously. So that'll be that. Um, this area over here, we might make a kitchen. We we might we might make that some sort of common room for now. So that said and all, what I think I'll do instead here for the kitchen is I'll make a separate building right over here. And, you know, some people aren't a fan of this. Personally, I am, but I like to make multiple rooms and I like to have kind of like staff hallways and, and prisoner hallways. So I think we'll make a kitchen right over here. We'll give them a special door that they can access, a staff only door. So that, uh, yeah, the prisoners can't get in or the prisoners can't get through, but the, uh, the staff can. And we'll put that right over there. We'll put one right over here. And we should hopefully be able to um, get the kitchen stuff set up right over here in due time. So, right, I'm just going to run some more of the electrical cabling through here. Get that set up for the future. And, you know, we should probably get things built a little bit faster. So, let's just... Uh, turbo on through here we'll get a little bit of a shower shower and drain area set up and what I what I'm trying to do here is that typically how it works is that you know with these holding cells you can actually just have them with uh, toilets and benches only but we're gonna make this area a bit more of a of a permanent living space with some of those some of those uh, amenities over there and that should make a nice little holding area for our guys. So as you may have noticed by now, different rooms, they have uh, they, they have different requirements, but at the same time, I mean, to the best of my knowledge, if you add, say for example, you know, um, toilets and other amenities to these holding cells and stuff, your prisoners will actually use them. So it's, yeah, it's quite useful for, for, the, for, your, for your guys. Right, so we want uh, not a bench, but a table. Make a nice little office for reception. The idea is that prisoners can get their stuff off of the table, and you can kind of search them. Um, I think what the what the office desk and chair. I don't know. Maybe you log uh, what they bring in and what they bring out type of deal. There, so that's quite helpful. And right, so we'll probably need food and water over here. So we'll get a big pipe to carry water and stuff over there, and we'll use small pipes to connect the toilets and things to the big pipe. And for the sake of privacy, I suppose it would be probably a good idea to wall that area off. So yeah, our prisoners will gradually build that up. Same idea over here. Let's define a kitchen. We'll get a serving uh, room set up in the in the actual cafeteria. We'll get a single sink or a single cooker for now and then a single fridge for now as well. We'll power those guys up and afterwards we should have the the skeletal husk for uh, for a prison pretty much. We have all the basic amenities set up. Right so these guys will also require power and water. So we'll get the piping set up for those as well. And soon afterwards, in about three hours, we can uh, start to oh receive uh, prisoners. All right. So the idea here is that I don't know what it is with the game for the time being, but um, some of the building or some of the rooms, like the canteens, you seem to only be able to have one of efficiently. You can you can have more. It's just that prisoners they like to crowd into one big one rather than a couple of uh, small small rooms. So that said, we're gonna we're gonna try to keep one major canteen for everyone to use for the time being. So with that said, we'll get that one set up. Um, we could make a yard here or over here. And right now I'm thinking, where should we put 
the uh, the what's it called the shower area you know what I think we'll have the yard right over here so make it a bit of a big area right here we'll fence that in so the prisoners can't escape and I think over down over here we might start to make the uh, yeah we'll, we'll make this a really large hallway maybe have some offices maybe something like that on the side here maybe like a med bay a common room something like that and we'll have that there. Ah, and here's yeah, here's how it how it works. So in the meantime, I guess I'll construct that yard. And with the yard, we'll have to give it a couple of entrances. I want them to be able to access this from pro probably over here, uh, probably from the canteen room, and probably from the holding room as well. So we'll get the door set up right over there. And in the meantime, um, let's see. We'll get two more guards. How about that? And we'll see what, what's uh, what's happening over here. So, our little guards over here, they'll start to search these prisoners. Let's strip them down. Put the, put the, you know, the little uniforms on them. And send them into the holding area here shortly. So yeah, and if they do find any contraband on them, which can be a wide variety of things. Starting conditions. Ah, okay, so that's quite neat. Ooh. And yeah, you can find little uh, collectibles here and there on the map. Uh, so yeah. Once these guys, you know, bring in all the prisoners, really. Uh, search them down for any contraband. They'll be taken to the holding room, where they just kind of, you know, stay, stay around for the most part. So, that is one thing. Now, uh, they should have all their amenities kind of set up inside that holding room for now. But for the time being... I think we are uh, going to have to make a few more rooms for the time being. So, 4x4 four four rooms, you can make offices. Uh, it might not be the best idea, per se, to have like offices in the middle of the prison, but I don't know, maybe we can keep two fairly unimportant people in here. Um, store them, let them do their thing, which will also kind of finish off our administration center goal. So we can get that set up, and we can grab the extra cash and get the uh, research, if you will, for our prison started, which is just another little thing that you can have. Right, so we can make this area a prison, or uh, at the yard. We can probably get rid of that little stump on the edge of the building if we really wanted to, but no, I think I'll leave it. Maybe put a payphone booth or something like that right over there. And yeah, and now here's the part that won't make a ton of sense for a lot of people, but we are actually going to have a giant um, room as a as a shower, more or less because people, <laughs> oh my god, the prison riots when you don't have a good shower area is insane. At one point I had like, I only had like 80 prisoners or something, and literally every morning, 9am, the people go into the shower, uh, 5 minutes into the shower, prison riot breaks out every single day. So that said, I think honestly the fuss was like, I kept on crowding everyone to like this tiny 3x3 three three room, and you know, 80 people inside that area, and I think it's, uh, yeah, meters, it's, it's the equivalent of a, of a clown car, really. Don't think they were too happy with that, so we'll try, uh, we'll try something new this time. Now, because we've, we're using a lot of these locked doors, our, uh, our, our construction workers, they can't unlock these by themselves, unfortunately. So the uh, so yeah, one of the officers will have to come over here and help them out. Alright, so I'll try to get these office areas set up, meet the minimum size, put a desk in them, put a chair in them, and put a filing cabinet in them. And afterwards, we shall have, uh, well, 
couple of small office spaces for people to to kind of stay in. Later on, you never know. We might uh, we might convert this area into maybe a common room or a med bay. But for the time being, this is what it is. And now, let's get this shower area set up. So, to the best of my knowledge, what shower areas kind of need is um, a couple of walls so you can mount shower heads, lots and lots of areas so that the, the the fluids can drain. And yeah, so we'll get that set up. Piping runs down here so that we can connect all the things. So perfect, this area should work out quite nicely. And afterwards, then we can kind of start to work on making actual, uh, actual, uh, like actual prison blocks for our people to stay in. So there. Uh, let's see. They also need power. So we'll wrap that in. And things should be good. Oh yeah, and overall through the day, uh, the regime will change. Your prisoners are kind of rotated through, I think, meals, um, showers, free time, and kind of yard time. And later on, um, depending on kind of like what what stage you're in, you can you can get to to do work, stuff like that. So it's quite interesting. Right. So there we go. We have one office. We're gonna assign that to the warden, and the warden here is effectively. The head of your your little prison here, so he will just kind of hang out there. His main task is that you can go over here and we can research different things. So I'm going to research finance and I'm going to get uh, psychology and health, so that firstly we can um, we can keep track of uh, how much how much we actually take in each day, and later on how how uh, when when pr when uh, prisoners start to kind of break out and stuff like that, we can we can do some 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 stuff with that. Did I build this the wrong way? Yeah. So he needs to climb on top of the wall to cook now. It's rather unfortunate, but we'll leave it as is. Okay, so hopefully I can just designate all of this as a giant shower. Click on over here to objects. Shower heads. And there we go, we can stack this full area up with shower heads, put some drains onto the bottom over here, especially near the entrance. And afterwards, this area should be all set. Right, so once the construction people bring all of that stuff in, look at that, they make a perfect uh, snake moving over here. Uh, once they bring all that stuff in, everything should be met for the basic detention center goal. And shortly after, we should meet all the requirements for the other one soon enough. Right, so at that point, I think, uh, yeah, the prison is pretty much set up, and afterwards we can start kind of building cells, things like that, and get things really going. Okay, perfect. So we can hire an accountant now. That'll finish up one of the goals, and that'll also allow us to start more research. But more importantly, right now, we are just kind of, uh, more or less, just trying to grind out the amount of cash we need there. So we will wait it out for now. Right, and the other thing is just that I absolutely love it when it's when it's dark in the game. Have the little light posts all over the place. 
it's lit up inside of course but the minute you go out of it it uh, turns pitch black wherever there's no lights see that our power generator here could use a few more capacitors so we'll put those on there and that should uh, hopefully give us a little bit more power we are just at the uh, the end of it for in terms of power at the moment so we'll see what we can do there And right, so this area will gradually finish up. In the meantime, ah, and they've gotten the capacitors on it. So as you can probably tell, we gained, uh, yeah, quite a lot of power from that. Or uh, it actually doubled the capacity. So that is pretty good. Uh, so going forwards from here, uh, when I had last played the game, they didn't actually have dormitories and the things like that. So I kind of want to try these out. So like I had said, originally we were gonna build a whole we were going to build a cell block, but now uh, let's take a look at our grants here and see what we can do. So technically for the cell block A achievement here or uh, grant here, we don't actually have to build a cell block. We can build a a dormitory, seeing as all we have to do is be able to store 15 prisoners. Uh, so in this case, it might very well be possible to, to later on, of course, not exactly right now, make it such that, I mean, when we get prisoners, we get them in terms of high risk, low risk, and normal risk. We should be able to make it so that perhaps we can we can kind of store all the, uh, the regular prisoners, regular and low risk prisoners in dormitories really saves the room seeing as how building cells in the game is a humongous pain in the ass um and then later on building or not rather building but uh setting it up such that afterwards oh we found some dangerous goods on that guy uh setting up such that the high um but the max security guys are the only people who have uh kind of real cells and things like that uh, so with that said, let's see what we can do about building some dormitories. So the shower area over here, that will finish up gradually. And in the meantime, let's start to build up uh, our areas over here. So, for whatever reason, I feel like kind of doing this as an outdoor prison. So we'll build a perimeter fence. And be rest assured, we will expand this later on. Uh, let's make it such that you know there's a there's a two tile entrance here. Ooh, thanks. Yeah, it is quite rough uh, in the holding cell from the looks of things. Somebody got stabbed, and those uh, these little you know little incidents right they'll, they'll actually happen quite often they'll just kind of happen as is so we'll try to get that area set up we'll uh we'll make a perimeter fence and typically prisoners don't break out the fences keep that up for now and we will shortly uh build a dormitory to store all of these guys Alright, I think we'll go by 10 by 18 dorms like that. Right, so next day, yeah, lots of prisoners coming in now with 19 and all. So yeah, the problem with uh, the original cells is that they have to be at least uh, two by three blocks as wide as uh, as big. So 
the thing with it is that because of kind of like the map size and all, the cells are actually really big and it used to be, you know, kind of difficult to actually fit in all of those people. Uh, or rather, you know, build the cells and visually plant all the, uh, put all the breads and things there. So it actually used to be, you know, quite difficult to, to, to build them up like that. Uh, with the new changes, hopefully this will be a little bit faster. So I think how we'll set it up here is that we will, yeah, get the cell built up, bring in the electrical cabling. And now one of the things that we might want to do here is I'm going to run this pipe actually on the thoughts of it, not over here, but around the side like this. The idea is that um, prisoners can actually climb through these pipes later on when, when kind of breakouts and things like that happen. Uh, they can actually climb through the large sewer pipes. So uh, if we put them around the edge of our perimeter here and only use the small pipes, which they can't run through, but you can only connect a limited amount of them from the big pipe, um, that might make our area much more secure for, for intensive purposes for, for a fairly small cost. Try to do that. Some of these guys are still trapped in here. And of course later on we will want a psychologist because that'll tell us what these guys need in terms of their needs. Let me see if I can bring up that section. Yep. And we also want a med bay so then we can hopefully stop um, or fix up incidents like that uh, like the guy who got killed there. So those two things. Oh, that's right. There's one more thing we want to do. Probably want to research, uh, I believe, security, micromanagement, and prison policy. And maintenance at one point. Ah, eh, we'll get it right now. More or less because those things will allow us to bring the, uh, the entirety of this prison up to speed. So yeah, that'll be that. All right, so it looks like they're finishing up this area. We'll designate it as a dormitory. And once it is set up in dormitory fashion, then uh, then we can, or then it can, we can start to kind of move people over here. So bunk beds are another thing that they didn't necessarily have inside the original, um, inside the game when I played it. So I think we'll try and see how well these things work. So I think we'll try to make, oh, I don't know, maybe a line of them right over here. Kind of sandwich them off like that, perhaps. Yeah, I think we'll make this uh, an entire enclosed space just for the sake of it, really. Put two doors right over here. guy taking taking a nap or something like that this guy too or maybe they're oh i see they're actually they might be <laughs> out of things to do so uh they decided to take a nap like that sure right so once we have uh the dorm set up over here i'm gonna make a row of toilets to to meet their other needs get another wall and another uh door in here and afterwards, I think how we'll set it up is that if we do want more space for prisoners and such, we can always add more bunks in here. But for the time being, we can we might be able to make that into a little bit of a common room for prisoners to stay in. So yeah, that's kind of what happens when you don't have enough drains. The water goes everywhere. Right, but as soon as we get uh, the dormitory set up here with the toilets, I believe... Uh, what can happen at that point is then we can start to transfer people over, put them inside the dorm, and then we can kind of start to move more people out of the dormitory like that. Oh yeah, uh, so far it's been pretty good, but during any point, I believe, except for the, the part where you're actually bringing over the, the prisoners over here, uh, the prisoners do have the chance of breaking out, so once we get them into the prison... We might want to increase safety measures over here, probably adding another room here, station a, guard, a couple of guards inside there while, we, while we're at it to keep prisoners from running out.
And oh yeah, sometimes, like only sometimes, the game will tell you whether or not the prisoners uh, escaped or not. Um, typically, I think it's, it, it, I think as a matter of fact, it kind of depends on whether or not anyone sees them. Um, because in a couple of other prisoners, if you, uh, it's like, say for example, I won't do it right here, but I can leave the door open or shut it. If I do do that, sometimes you, you just see people kind of running away. The game won't tell you about it, but um, it does definitely happen, which is very, very neat. So I think we'll get that set up, and hey, would you look at that? I think we can just take this, uh, yeah, this grant for cash, and let it be immediately resolved. So yeah, so, right, we can get some extra cash like that. And from the looks of it, this bunkhouse actually uh, can house 20 people. So, that's a no. We should expect uh, some transfers from this prison yard over here in due time. Take a look at the game clock. I think we'll make a cut here and we will be right back with more Prison Architect.